Hi, I'm Kate from Kate's Homeschool Math Help, and today I'm going to show you how to use manipulatives to help your child understand math well, but what to do to keep them from becoming a crutch. For some kids, um, if they use manipulatives too much, they start to rely too much on them and can't solve math problems without manipulatives, and that's not what we're trying to accomplish. So I have a three-step technique for you that will help prevent that. Um, the three steps are going to be hands-on, so touching the manipulatives, hands-off, not touching the manipulatives, and third is eyes closed, visualizing the manipulatives. So let's look at the first step. So the first step is to have hands on the manipulatives. Manipulatives are great for teaching kids how um, to understand concepts. In this case, uh, I'm using manipulatives to demonstrate how to add 9 plus 5. Um, when kids are adding on to 9, a great way to uh, demonstrate that for them is to put nine blocks on one 10 frame and five blocks on another 10 frame and then to show them that they can just move one block over to fill in the 10. Now instead of nine plus five they have 10 plus four and so nine plus five is 14. And so in this first step of hands on the blocks um, you'd want to give your child a whole lot of problems to solve using the manipulatives and give her lots of opportunities to practice and really uh, move and touch and see um, how this works. But then, once she can solve these kinds of problems confidently and easily with manipulatives, you want to move on to the next step. And stage two is um, having hands off the box. And here's what I mean by that. In this stage, when your child sees a problem like 9 plus 5, she sets up the problem, so here's the 9 plus the 5, but once she has it set up, she doesn't move the blocks. Instead, she keeps her hands off the blocks and visualizes um, moving them. So she'd think, okay, 9 plus 5. Well, what I can do is I can move one block over. When that gets filled in, I'll have 10 and 4. So 9 plus 5 is 14. It may seem like a small step, but it's a big difference. Um, it really helps move kids towards visualizing and being able to do, solve problems mentally rather than needing something concrete in front of them. And then after a child can do that readily, the last step is eyes closed. And in this step, uh, I encourage you to literally have your child close her eyes. Um, you can have the blocks nearby or you can just put them away entirely. And when she's solving 9 plus 5, you want to ask her to imagine the 9 blocks on one 10 frame and the 5 blocks on the other. And then to imagine moving one block over to complete the 10. Um, with this, she now has the manipulatives in her head and can access them even if she doesn't have any blocks nearby. If she continues to use this, she can now solve uh, problems on, with pencil and paper and can fully master the, um, the addition facts. So the three steps are hands on, then hands off, and then eyes closed to help your child um, use manipulatives well but keep them from becoming a crutch.